Do you enjoy practicing yoga for neck and shoulder pain relief? If so, here's an easy, effortless, and simple way to relieve tension from your upper body in less than five minutes a day. I'm talking about the restorative yoga pose called supported supine spinal twist. Welcome back to day 10 of the restorative yoga at home challenge. I am Karen Beginski and I'm the author of restorative yoga, relax, restore, re-energize. And today's video is part of a 12 day series to help you reduce stress, improve sleep and build emotional resilience. If you're new to the challenge, why don't you click up here and sign up to receive the free challenge newsletter where I will send you a new video for 12 days of the challenge along with a couple other goodies. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new weekly yoga videos. You can subscribe down here and click that bell notification so you don't miss out on series like this one. Give me a like if you are ready to get started with this twist. It's one of my favorite everyday yoga poses. Willow's letting you know that you need one flat bolster or firm bed pillow and three blankets. Gather up your restorative yoga props and meet me back here on your yoga mat. Do you remember day five's pose of this restorative yoga at home challenge? It was supported spinal twist. The difference between that and this pose is you're lying on your back. So this pose might feel like a deeper twist. Let's set up the blankets first and then we'll attend to the bolster and we'll come into the pose. We're gonna start on our right hip. So ensure that you are beginning on your right hip and you'll open your right arm into the twist. So let's get started with these blankets. Taking the first one, this is a square fold blanket and you can find all the instructions for the blanket folds in my restorative yoga book. Place this at one side of your mat so that when you sit on your right hip and you lie down, this is going to support your head. Then we'll take the other two blankets and open up from the basic fold shape. Simply take the long side to match the long side until you get a blanket that's a rectangle fold. Do this with both blankets, setting one to the front of your knees at the bottom of your mat, and the other is going to go behind you at the top of the mat, just off from the blanket for your head. And I find it helpful to overlap a little bit. This creates a little extra support for the shoulder. One arm will be here, the other arm will be here. The last prop that we have is the flat bolster. Get your flat bolster and place that behind you, lengthwise up the side of your mat. Now let's come into the pose. So on your right hip, stack your knees and your feet. You're going to take this blanket that's beneath you and place that like a sandwich in between the legs. Scoot back a little bit on your mat so that you can start to touch the flat bolster that's behind you with your hips. Then lower down onto your shoulder, extend that arm long and stack the other shoulder or on top with the hand reaching on top of the other palm. Now you'll notice right away if you need more support for your head. So if your forehead is lower than your chin, then come on up and fold this blanket one more time until you find the best thickness for you. As much as possible, finding a space where the center of the forehead is in line with the chin and you have a little bit more space then to really reach your shoulder blade forward on the ground with the arm stacked on top. From here, let's start to open into the twist and we'll use the breath. So we won't hold stillness just yet. Let's use the breath and flow a little bit. Inhale and lift the top arm up, starting to twist open and look behind you at the fingertips. Now take that arm down and snug the bolster all the way up your spine, but not against your shoulder. Make sure you have space for your arm to sneak through. Now let's do that two more times, just moving back and forth with the arm. So inhale, look up at the fingertips and exhale, follow the hand 
back down in front of you. Inhale, look up, reach up with the top arm. Exhale, reach the arm behind you, opening into the twist. Go with your own pace for this next round of breath. And now as you take this final pass with your arm, reach the arm behind you and stay in the twist. Arrange your head however it feels comfortable. So you might enjoy gazing up. You might like gazing to the right or to the left, whatever feels most comfortable. Notice if the arm that's extended behind you is lifted high off of the floor. If that is the case, then what you'll need to do is support underneath that arm with a thicker fold of the blanket or just get more blankets in general or even pillows so that the arm is not floating in space. You want to make sure as a general rule in restorative yoga that there are no floating body parts. Once you feel satisfied with how you are arranged in this twist, perhaps close the eyes. Relax the jaw and the tongue. And relax through the shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingertips. Feel the growing openness of your chest and your heart and just breathe naturally. Stay present to your experience without judgment. Just feeling and sensing emotion and sensation in your body. Let's stay for a brief time in silence. Bring your awareness to your palms. Maybe sensing lightness in the space of the hands and between the fingers. Very lazily, reach the arm that's behind you. Take that inhale, lift it up overhead. Exhale, return it in front of you. Take your time, perhaps to open your eyes as the shoulders begin to stack, and then use very minimal effort. Press your palms into the floor, and inhale, lift up sideways. We'll take the bolster from behind us and move it to the other side. Then place your palms as you lift up, squeeze through the knees, holding onto your blanket, Rotate to your other hip. Arrange your legs so that they are knees to hips 90 degrees, feet to knees 90 degrees. Scoot your bolster down below on the mat and then pull your blanket to the other side. You might need something different on this side. We'll see. Lower and come down onto your shoulder. Support your head on the blanket and reach your arm behind you and snug that bolster up against your back so you feel it all the way to your hips 
and to your upper back. Make sure there's some space so that you can reach your arm behind and rest it on the blanket. Now let's do the same thing that we did on the other side with gentle movement three times. So stacking the arms in the same direction, look in that direction, look to the top arms fingertips and take an inhale, lift it up to the ceiling and exhale, follow with your gaze as the arm drops toward the floor. Inhale and lift back up. Exhale, close your arms. Two more times, moving slow through space. There's absolutely no rush here. Feeling that every time you open up through the shoulder, there's a bit more space created through the ribs to breathe a bit deeper. As you exhale now, allow the arm to reach behind you and become fully supported in the twist through the blanket or whatever props you're using underneath that arm. Arrange your head in the way that feels most comfortable and effortless. And as you close the eyes perhaps and we practice the second side, Relax through your knees, release the grip in your ankles, soften your hips. Breathe naturally, feeling the navel rising and falling. And taking a moment to soften all expression from your face. Observe how this side might be different than the last. Support yourself if you need to with extra props for your arm. And now let's rest in stillness. Give yourself one more breath to start to think about transitioning out. Feel the shifts and the changes that may have occurred in your breath and in the muscles and the connective tissue in your chest. Move very slowly with the arm behind you Taking the inhale, lifting it up, and exhale, returning the arms together on your side. Stack the shoulders, rest for a moment. And press your palm into the floor. And inhale, lift up sideways. Slide the blanket out from between your legs, just set it to the side, and arrive in a comfortable seat of your choice, whatever that looks like, maybe using the bolster, maybe not. Bring your hands to your heart. And just feel. Invite a deeper breath into your belly. Feel it lift the heart, the chest, and exhale it all out. Gratitude to yourself for making time like this every single day for 10 days in a row. 
gratitude to the teachers who have paved the path. Release the hands down and open the eyes. Are you ready for today's self-reflection challenge question? Head on into those comments and answer this. How do your shoulders and upper body feel after this practice? I find it important to write down observations about your practice because otherwise we tend to forget what helps us the most. So the next time you need some neck and shoulder pain relief, you can turn to supported supine spinal twist. We are almost to the end of this challenge, just two days left. Big congratulations to you for making it this far. In day 11's at home yoga video, we will practice one of the most important and healing of all the restorative yoga poses. I'll see you then, namaste.